do you recall the first uh, rehearsal session you had as a four piece? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. What was it like? It was nice. It felt uh, it felt like we'd known each other forever. <laughs> How was it arranged? Uh, <laughs> it was basically a, a group of guys who didn't really know each other at all. We all n knew that we played uh, music, but uh, that was about it. But it, it, there was a nice, like when we talked to each other, we didn't really know what to say. It was like, uh, hello, I'm, I'm Pat. What's your name? I'm You're Adam, right? Yeah. Uh, but then we started playing and it kind of fell into place. Really. But who, who arranged the four of you to actually rehearse it again? It was me. I, I, um, I, was, I was sitting around, I had a couple of songs that I'd written, and uh, I, met, I just met up with a guy called Anders Halbeck, who was uh, there at the beginning, and uh, we met up at his studio, you know, worked a bit more on the songs, recorded them, and when it came time to uh, just grab people and put, try and put a band together, uh, Hannes and Pa were the first ones I asked, uh, and uh, we all just met up and played, and it was, it was fun. But how, how, how did you get to ask them? Did you know them or did you well, know them? Well, we all studied around? like uh, at the Academy of Music in Malmö. Uh, so we all knew, like I knew about Pan, I knew about Hannes, I'd seen Hannes play. Uh, and uh, just seemed like good people. Uh, and it, it all fell into place from there, kind of. Like, like Pan said, we didn't really know each other at all. We just knew of, knew of each other, kind of. Yeah. We kind of we kind of didn't know each other until we started touring. It felt like we saw each other an hour here and there, yeah. like then making the album. But then you really get to know each other when you're living like. So, do, but do you still like each other? No. Semi. No. I like some some. Parts. <laughs> I like some parts of Jonas and you know. I like Adam for two hours in the morning before he starts talking. Yeah. <coughs> No, it's. Uh, I think uh, we all like Pass said again. Uh, when you when you spend this much time together as we do, you really you, you kind of learn where your boundaries are and where everyone else's like personal space ends and starts uh, starts. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty. It's we're having a good time. It's like we we don't really have a choice. It's like this is what we're doing all the time. Might as well make the best out of it. So. Yeah. What what did you think of his songs? I thought they were kind of they sounded a bit like Danko Jones the first. I remember no. the, I remember the president's daughter was the first one I ever played or heard, uh, and I thought it was a really cool song. Um, but I mean, there had been song additions after. Maybe we had four songs or something in the beginning. Yeah, I think so. Before we uh, came along, and I think about. Yeah, maybe two, three, four that we still play. Yeah. So how 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 many did end up on the first album from the four uh, that you? Uh, like uh, I think in total we wrote about what <coughs> twenty like all together yeah. with the f the f fifteen that we ended up recording. Yeah. We had like a couple of more. Uh, right on the highway. Did yeah that one and did lay 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 lay. lay, lay. There's a new Bob bitch in town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there were a couple of funny songs in the beginning, which didn't make... Searching for our identity. I don't want to dance was the uh, fucking... No, what I mean, from, from, from the first songs that you actually brought to them, the first... The first songs? Show, did, well, did there's they, President's they, Daughter, there's uh, I Must Be On My Mind, on. Cry Baby Cry. No, uh, I, we were still... We were on board when I Must Be Out Of My Mind was made. I yeah. Yeah, you were. And walking down the line. Yeah, yeah. those were the first songs. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was Our President's cat. daughter and Cry Baby Cry. I know was like on the board before we came along. Maybe those are the only two. Might be, yeah. yeah. How do you look back on your first album? I'd rather not. <laughs> no. Keep looking forward. <laughs> I'm really, actually, since we recorded the new album, Save the Nation, uh, I went back and I'd listened to them back to back, you know? 
And uh, all of a sudden it felt fresh again and cool when you have you know, something to weigh it on. And uh, I, I think uh, We Are The Royal and Save The Nation are different like in a good way in some places. Save The Nation is a bit more dynamic. It has a bit more levels than uh, We Are The Royal did. Uh, but I'm, I'm really proud of the first album and I'm proud of uh, you know, what we did. But when we had done that, that was recorded you know, the modern way of doing things. You put down the drum tracks, you wait mm -hmm. for the perfect take and you do the same with every instrument and just like, cut it together. And Save the Nation is live in the studio, more or less. Um, and uh, it's a bit more raw and garage, if you will.